Hello, this one is um, again from Sorkin Chapter 11. This is the uh, V coefficient, which V equals A times D minus B times C over the square root of A plus B times C plus D times A plus C times B plus D. The data here it's the same when you, the previous vi video when you were figuring out Yuli's Q. It's the same data and turn to page 365 of your circuit textbook, table 11.5, and you'll see this. Again, I have it labeled where the A, the A25, B0, C is 35, and D is 45. I have that labeled on there so you can see where the numbers are clearly because it's a 2 by 2. Here, the V equals A, which is 25, times D, which is 45, minus B, 0, times C, 35, 35. That's what's on the top, and for the bottom, it's the square root of A, 25 plus B, 0, times C, 35, plus D, 45, times A, 25, plus C, which is 35, times B, which is 0, plus D, which is 45. Now that we have it filled in, what we're going to do first is 25 times 45 equals 1,125 minus 0 times 35 is 0. This is over the square root of 25 plus 0 equals 25. And the next one where you're adding C plus D, which is 35 plus 45 equals 80. 25 plus 35 equals 60, and then 0 plus 45 equals 45. In your textbook, it doesn't show um, as many steps as I'm showing, but it's good to show your professor all of your math, just in case you have a mathematical error. They can see that you do understand the concept. So, V equals 1,125 over, you multiply 25 times 80 gets 2,000, and then 60 times 45 equals 2,700. Now, I show the next step, which again, the top is done still, 1,125 over the square root of 2,000 times 2,700 equals 5,400,000. You know, we take the square root of that, the square root of 5,400,000 5, equals 2323.79 or 2323.79. So 11, or I mean 1125 divided by 2323.79 equals 0 0.04841, as you see in your textbook, rounded up to the second decimal place, which is a hundredths, so it's tens hundredths, and that equals 0 0.48. As you see that, um, that there's not, this indicates that there's not a um, strong relationship there, stuff going on where when you did, remember when you did the Yulis Q for this data? That e equaled a positive 1. Or over here you might be able to see it better, it equaled 1. As you could tell when you did the Yulis Q that um, it doesn't look like there's really that, that have a correlation where the phi coefficient lets you see that no. Because this takes, it takes the different ones, A plus B and then C plus D and A plus C and B plus D, the different combinations and figures out between different combinations if there is truly a relationship or not.